Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adele T. Kasumi, your host on this channel, Chemist by Profession. This is why Chemistry Particle, Alternative A, Qualitative Analysis, Assault Analysis. That's what we'll be doing in this particular video. Let's quickly dive right into what I have for you. Let's look at what is given this year. This year, we are giving samples of salt analysis for Wahek Chemistry Particle to be CUSO4, it's an inorganic salt followed by an organic sample of glucose. All right, what and what analysis do we need to uh, try our uh, ends on when it comes to this particular salt? So let's look at it quickly. Now, CuSO4 can give us um, Cu2 plus, that's copper 2 ion, and SO4 uh, 2 minus, that's the ion. That's cation and anion, while glucose uh, is one of the samples that we need to analyze. Of course, they give us some reagents, that we can use in the analysis ranges like barium chloride, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, ammonia, triazonitate 5 acid, diluted as of a 6 acid, silver triazonitate 4, and ferlin solution. These are the, the reagents given in this 2025 uh, sort analysis. So let's quickly dive into what we have for us today. So if you and new, this is your first time of preparing students for sort analysis. Just follow me quickly, okay? Step by step. So don't get this twisted because it's not all the reagents that the white use sometimes. Okay, so don't be worked up. I will walk you through step by step on how to get your analysis done and your student will have your A. Thank you. Let's quickly go dive into it. So let's look at the first table. We have test, we have observation, and we have our inference. So the salt given is a mixture of CuSO4 and glucose in one ratio one. Get that? It's one ratio one. So by the time you prepare for the student, make sure you have spatula of one spatula of full spoon of both uh, organic and inorganic and you mix them together so that you can distribute to your students uh, in a petri dish. So let's look at the first thing. So you can, it might be hard to add a sample C plus distilled water. What you are expecting that day is sample C dissolved, or you can use the word soluble in water to give a blue solution. Or you can use light blue solution. So don't get it twisted. You can add to it when you perform the practical too. So we're going to have um, sample C is a soluble salt. In my inference here, I have CU. CU2 plus present. The reason why I'm putting CU2 plus present is from experience in marking Wahek. When you dissolve, dissolve a sample in water, actually you are not supposed to have uh, a particular inference. But there's one year Wahek penalized students that didn't add, uh, add CU2 plus into their what? Into their inference based with reaction with water. So to be on the safer side, let's put CU2 plus at the word at the inference. Because that time I asked to call Dr. Ojukuku, and when I called him, when he went for a briefing in Ghana, you know, Ghana ahead, they have to say transition metals is the only transition metals we have, which is CUSO4 and it's blue. So we have to start analysis right from there. I hope they get that. So we might also be asked to add the solution above plus litmus paper. If you do that, you are going to have solution turns blue litmus paper red. It therefore shows that is what that solution is what is acidic. Are you following? It's acidic. Okay. Now let's look at some analysis you can be asked. Okay, you can be asked to divide the to divide the solution into portions, into different portions. Just follow closely how the question will unfold on Tuesday. Let's say the first portion plus barium chloride plus dilute HCA. If you add barium chloride to the first portion, you're going to be having white precipitate form. And in dilute hydrochloric acid, you have precipitate insoluble in dilute hydrochloric acid. So your inference will be C CO3 to minus, SO4 to minus, S2 minus, and SO3 to minus. Here, minus. take note from experience. Students or tutors that are, looked, that, that, that are watching this video, take note of these details I'm going to be uh, giving now. It's a bombshell. Okay. Now, if 
you have SO42 minus here. Yeah? Look at it. That's what guarantees you to score in this inference. If you don't have SO42 minus here, yeah, the YX will mark you down from here. Do you understand? So make sure these things are properly aligned. So let's move to the next one. The second portion, plus sodium hydroxide in drops, then in excess. So let's see what happened in drops. Okay, in drop, we have light blue gelatinous precipitates. From past uh, markings, we have also seen that gelatinous is a keyword that is very important to YEC. Okay, and in excess, the precipitate is insoluble in excess. So your influence will be Cu2 plus present, and here Cu2 plus present. Do you understand that one? Let's move closely. Now, next one, if you have third portion, you will remember I told you, you can be asked to, to divide into surface as in several portions depending on how the question comes. Third portion plus ammonia, okay, in drops, then in excess. If you do that, you are going to have light blue, gelatinous precipitate form, all right? Now, soluble in excess to form a deep blue solution. Okay, this is a real confirmatory test for Cu2+, plus because it's a confirmatory test uh, that shows that Cu2+, plus is present. Remember our sample is Cu S O4. Now, look at the twist in this whole place. All right, let's move to the last one. The fourth portion now, plus failing solution A and B. Let's look at what we have. When you have failing solution A and B, you are going to see a brick red precipitate. On boiling, on boiling. Take note of how the question comes. In case the question says, for this original plus, uh, fourth, fourth portion plus failing solution. So you can write no specific reaction first. Okay? And under your inference, you also have nothing. But when immediately you heat or you warm your failing solution A and B with the portion of uh, the solution given, take note, you are going to have. A brick red on boiling. Okay, and your influence will be what? A reducing sugar because glucose is a reducing sugar. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below so that we can further uh, discuss it. Or if your table is different from mine, please, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section uh, below. All right, see you in my next video. Bye for now. All is in chemistry. Right, E. E is for me in chemistry. Alright, see you there. Bye for now.